Okay, so we're live. Um, I'll just quickly say I'm clearly am live. The flags just come up, so there we go. So here we go. This is uh, another live stream. Uh, this one obviously is for the Steel Curtain Hull Raid, and uh, it's obviously the last one in this uh, raid format. Uh, it's got two targets for the S type, which is what I'll be going for. It's obviously the 100, which is favoured for the Phoenix, and the controversial 106, um, which seems to be reasonable for the uh, Skyfires and um, doable with the Phoenix. Um, total points, I think, is about 9 million, but we'll have a quick look in a second. So my plan for this evening is just to blast through and um, grab a load of 106s first, and then when I'm chilled out over the weekend, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, do some, um, I'll do some hundreds in a row and that sort of stuff, because I find it a lot easier, because there's no change in those, and the 106 is new. So um, kick back and let's see how it goes, shall we? So we've got a few crews here. Let's have a quick look. Nothing, nothing massively. So we've got a demo squad there, which is quite interesting. We've got a DOS crew. Critical hit splash deals more. We can play around with some stuff here. I haven't used one of those for ages. I haven't used one of these either. That's a base attack one, though, isn't it? Nice. But damage protection is quite decent. Hello, buddy. Good evening. How are you? You're right. So Skyfires are quite decent, um, apparently they're one of sixes, so, you know, I could probably roll for a couple of crews, but it's a bit boring. This thing's been sitting here doing absolutely nothing, so I might actually just go and stick it on and it's, yeah, why not? It'll pass the time. So this will last an hour and a half, so that's how long this stream's going to last, so. There you come, look at Hey, dear, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to smash out some 106s and just keep going and that sort of stuff. Um, it's like I, said, I did that quick test with nothing, just left it on auto to do its own thing, and it was two and a half hours. So I'm just gonna, I don't know, I may drive, I might not drive, but this crew's been sitting here for so long that I'm just gonna use it up. So we'll, uh, we'll jump outside and uh, see how it goes. I haven't rolled crews for so long because I just can't be bothered to do this. So. Need to go up and find some uh, 106s, and everybody is using them up. So what I'm going to do is to uh, find a relay. In fact, no, I won't. I will go across to one of my favourite locations. Hopefully, there's nobody over here. Well, there's one guy there doing some 100. So let's uh, let's just jump over here. Click the uh, Hyperion, otherwise end up getting a black screen. That's not good. So yeah, I, I agree, mate. I think you're. Um, uh, hey, Dave. Hey, dear, mate. Um, I, I think. Do, do you know what? I, I will try and get a good video of um, the Phoenixes doing the 106, but I'm not really 100% sure if uh, the bugs seem very. You know, the drones seem very, very fast. They come at you straight away as soon as you go in, and they obviously they're a bit more powerful, aren't they? So, um, me personally, um now that obviously the 103 is out of the way um, i'm definitely going to uh, leave with these sky fires so obviously it doesn't matter or it doesn't seem to matter which way you go in so full on auto it was a uh, two hours and 25 minutes okay um, and yeah i will be going all the way through this so enjoy that as well i want to use the maximum i can out of this uh, crew and see if it makes any difference if it doesn't then hell i've just wasted it so there you go, straight away, look, this set comes in, doesn't it? So I'm going to go and gate crash these little devils. So we've got charging in from the left and charging in from the right, okay. Now what would be nice is to save a BB crew, wouldn't it? Well, that's not bad damage, that's okay. obviously as ever it's damage based over time isn't it so you don't want to spend too long doing stuff because otherwise it's actually more beneficial to uh, take some damage when the crew runs out 
Ren's having a good go in the 106s. Yeah, Ren's, Ren's trying to go the other way um, and, and try to do zero, I'm not saying zero damage, that's a really silly thing to say, but um, trying to go the economic route. So he's trying to prove that, that um, because we were informed, obviously, but uh, that, um, so I'm dropping the flagship by the way, uh, out of the way, because the multiplier for repair for the flagship is much better um, for the flag than it is for the rest of the uh, Phoenixes, if you aren't aware of that. And far more, um, Cheaper than uh, repairing the, uh, sorry for the Skyfire than repairing the Phoenix one. Um, yeah, so Ren's just confirming that um, the 106 is cost-effective. Uh, as we were told, if you're if you're really going to do a good job of, um, if you're really good at driving and that sort of stuff, then the technical hull is still the way to go. You know, as in the Phoenixes and that sort of stuff. So um, he's just going to sort of like have a little look at that. And see if that makes sense. Whereas um, my goal here is to just amass as many points as I can in an hour and a half if I manage to stay on that long. <laughs> we'll see. So clearly I could dock and that sort of stuff, and I could jump in and then put a, you know, a, another crew in the background going, um, and I could quite easily, uh, you know, use a grease monkey crew or something. But for this one here, I'm not. Overly bothered about avoiding too much stuff, just gonna crash it out. Trigger these little tinkers. They don't trigger very easy, do they? That's what's done on purpose. Well, they die quite nicely, though. Shouldn't let them get too close, obviously. Um, yeah, so the flagship, look, you can see already, look, I mean, that target's nearly dead, it's doing quite well. Bear in mind, I'm full charge on here, so it's a little bit, uh, a bit naughty of me, really. Like I say, drop the flagship back a fraction. The repair multiplier is much better on the flag. So this is not gonna be the most exciting stream, because, you know, once you've seen the target once, you've probably seen it it's done. So you can talk about other things if you want to. Don't really mind. GM crew would be a good idea, I think, to be honest. You know, if you want to keep going, but bear in mind, obviously, the GM crew makes things speed up. So um, in the target, that can be a pain, can't it? Oh, we're, oh, we're blitzing. Let's. Uh, I like these things when they overload. They're quite fun. And as you notice, I've got one Gale system free on here. So the idea is, obviously, when the there we go, when those freaking cheese balls hit you, you can actually uh, take them out. So this already looks pretty cost effective, doesn't it? With a little bit of driving. It's uh, we're under five minutes, so not too bad. Bear in mind, I haven't changed any of the UAVs to the new ones. I don't know why I'm driving away. Um, I didn't bother, to be honest. I, if you haven't worked away now, I'm a very lazy person when it comes to building stuff. I was messing around with rages, so. But this doesn't seem too, uh, too expensive, does it? Far less damage, so uh, missed something somewhere. Oh, what there? Hi, Wayne. How you doing, mate? So the bench test on auto was two and a half hours damage. This is considerably more, which is not even a third as much damage. So um, I'll just check what it is. Um, doing all right. Damage repair wise, I think. And we'll probably get three or four targets in, I think, this way. Let's have a quick look. So, one out of 12. So, it's half. Half of what it was beforehand. So, there you go. With a little bit of driving, that's not too bad. I'm only going to hit the 106s. Um, just, just see how it goes. And to be honest, that wasn't exactly very fancy driving, which is the idea, isn't it? Oh, look at those. They look quite decent on the bottom there, don't they? I like those levels, quite nice. Got some graphics off the guys from Kickstarter, so just to spruce things up a little bit, make it a bit decent. So I think if we go down and actually go in towards this one first, let's drop that number one ship back a bit. I mean, unless you've got some funky build, I don't think you can outrun um, these drones with sky fires. You'd have to. And you notice they're trying to drop, drive you into the top corner. Well, to be honest, I'm not overly bothered because I'll overload in a minute and there we go. We'll just wipe them out. 
As long as I don't let the um, massive fields come and hit me, then I'm content. Come on, you die. <clears throat> So yeah, that's the, that's the plan. So I'm going to smash out as many of these as I can with, with this um, this crew, and then what I'm going to do is going to take my time later on and just pick off the hundreds with my Phoenix. Now clearly, I've got both fleets, so I'm very fortunate, and a lot of people haven't. But I can sort of see why this target is uh, worth more points. Then it is a harder target. Um, Ren's doing very well in it with his, uh, with his Phoenix fleet, so. so I could get a looks of this probably eight targets before I have to fix, that would be pretty interesting. I think this is about seven coins for a complete fleet. So point return versus damage, that's pretty decent. Hey Venom, how you doing mate? So what should we talk about? Oh, that was silly, got too close there. Oh well, let's cause the overload a bit, that's nice. Can we get down and get that shit while it's overloading? Yeah, come on. Boom, boom, boom. Get some of that. <laughs> uh, I love overload, it's funny. Kid in a sweetie shop. Uh, yes, Wayne, have a look. Uh, Ren's posted a video, mate. He's um, he's using Phoenix's only, mate. He's done some 106s for really low lead damage. Got to be a good driver, obviously. Um, so, mm, was the 106 a surprise? Yes, it was. Okay. Is the 106 doable at, with a Phoenix fleet? Yes, it definitely is. Okay, is it cheaper? Only if you're a really good driver. Has it been proven? Yes, it has. So... Fair dues to GDA and to, and to GDR when he was on our show. Um, but yeah, they haven't lied. And we can all bitch as much as we like that um, clearly these seem to be doing reasonably well. But I think the people with the Skyfast got shafted in the last raid, personally. Um, there you go, shafted is my technical term. Uh, because the 103 was no fun. When they were told that you know you can auto the S targets, we'll do some damage, and you clearly couldn't. The 103 just wasn't possible, so they were almost duty bound to change the flipping target, weren't they? But they couldn't just make it like another hundred because it'd be too easy, particularly for this fleet, knowing that they've obviously changed and updated you know some of the UAVs and some of the bits of uh, damage. So two targets, I'm not even half dead. That's not bad. So I'm driving it like a Phoenix, I'm, I'm having a bad habit here. I'm not really used to driving sky guys. I'm used to kiting things, so this is not my normal method. Hello, someone's watching, who's there? Ah, right. Okay, so not too bad, that's two. If we can get them into five minutes each, that's that's all right, isn't it? To be honest, there's another one down there. Do we have to fix yet? Don't know if we do, but we'll have a look. I'd like not to fix just yet. No, I think we're okay. I think we'll go again, shall we? <clears throat> so, we... Uh... Had an interesting show last night. We, we got to see some of the prizes. What do we reckon to this? Um, the bus. Well, whilst we've got some good level players in the in the chat there, what do we reckon to this new uh, sloth flag? Are you, are you up for it? Are you going to build it? I'm intrigued what you think. Bearing in mind that we know that um, OP10, which we can talk about as well, OP10 is en route, just off the raid. OP10, the actual OP itself, is going to come with a monster. Concussive um, 
beast if I can to go on top of it this time. So the first time the OP itself is going to have a uh, a weapon fit, and it'll be a monster. So it's not just a case of stick it in the middle of a spiral base. You know they actually reckon they're going to be able to do something now to let people do other sort of configurations. So hopefully base to base building will be a little bit more interesting because it's got very very boring, doesn't it? All land tiles, up to 30, is what uh, GDA was talking about on um, on Crib, which is a considerable amount, and obviously to do that, then uh, bigger footprint. Three tiles in each direction, so that's a considerable uh, increase when you think about it, which is six tiles total, um, north, south, and east, west. So. But obviously, Necessary as well. Let's hope his flag survives. What are you watching for? I'm not sure who that is. He's probably thinking, why are you nicking all my targets in my sector? You don't belong here. <laughs> Too many people in my sector, that's what I think. I don't generally raid in my own sector anyway. Well, let's kill this thing off, shall we? I'm overloading, so that's quite nice. There we go, we like that. Wow, look at that, look. Marble overloading, let's take some of these out, shall we? This is what I like about sky fires. If you get them in just, get your timing right. It can make a huge difference. I mean, talk about bad driving. Look at this. I'm being really lazy here. <laughs> it still all died. And I've shot that uh, turret there. Look, look at that. And another set. Let's drop that lead ship back. If they can only build a sub that was as amusing as this. <clears throat> so I'm just going to watch that one there a second. Come on then, overload if you get it. Let's see if we can get that. Hulk, whilst we're on overload. Go on, matey. Don't really care about your drones. That's it, you pass me by. I'll go this way, you go that way. So we're less than five minutes now. Is it 15 minutes? I haven't even looked, I must admit. Is it 15 minutes of target? Probably is. Yes. We'll have to double check. I was being quite lazy and not even looking. Uh, we're out of hundreds here, so let's, let's, uh, let's go somewhere else. Where am I? He says. Two fifteen east, wasn't it? Let's just have a look at uh, two fifteen west. Anybody over there? One there, one there, one there. Well, four of them here, so let's go over here, shall we? Yeah, good. Okay, good night, buddy. Uh, thanks for popping in. Will do, mate. It's always fun. <laughs> Just different levels of fun. <laughs> I always try to keep it light eyed. There's no point in getting depressed. Come on, where's my ships? Here they come. So, which we fix on this one? So, how many have we got here? We've got one there, uh, two, it's four, isn't it? I wonder if we can get four done. Um, what's this repair? Let's have a look. Where are we? 2006. Oh, I wonder if we can sneak another one. Six minutes. Should we try and sneak another? I might regret doing this, but hey. <laughs> Damnation, how you doing? <laughs> Hello, mate. 
trying to watch some noob driving. <laughs> it's not exactly technical driving when you're driving sky fires and just crashing them into the targets, though, isn't it? This is the Liam School of Driving. Come on, you... Just hoping this flagship's going to last this target, because that's four, isn't it, then? So... Doing okay. Four targets are not done. Oh, now see, that's overloaded up there. I didn't want that. I want that to happen down here. Let's see if we can keep it going. It'll be good. Yeah, see, that flagship's probably not going to make it, which is not rude. I might have to go out and uh, then fix. Two more clicks left, and it's a it's a goner. Doing okay though. What we could do is an overload, and that'll protect it, won't it? We might get one more in, you never know. So what else is OP10 going to bring us? Warehouse upgrades and the dreaded walls. Oh my god. What do, they, what do you reckon it's going to cost us for the walls? Oh great, overload. Here we go. Come on then. Let's, let's jump in and get some overload going. So we'll overload that first and kill that turret off. Right, kill the ship off. And we'll drive at an angle. Do that. Oh, we lost the overload. Darn. Oh, we got it back. Oh good, thank you very much. That means my flag must be about to die. <laughs> then shall we while we're here boom 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 get some of that may as well get down here and kill that off what if we can get this set as well that'd be pretty nice wouldn't it i think we probably can be back to the center of the screen so you can see really pushing if it went for another one, wouldn't you? I think uh, this is the right amount of targets, isn't it? Five, four, three, two. Oh, I've just got a bit of my flag left. Not much. Let's let him go by. But that's another one. That's okay. We've done okay. Yeah, the flagship's dead now, but that doesn't matter. That's fine. Good. Well, that's a reasonable start. So there's another one. I'll try and count out how many I've done. There we go. So what, what's the repair then? 46. That'll do. Quite content with that. All right, we'll knock this one out, that one out, and we'll take that one as well, and we'll go somewhere else. A stamp or something, I'm sure. I don't know why I keep driving away, there's no point. They're going to catch me up anyway. As long as I don't let them get too close. Did they say it was charge armor on the drones in the 106? Have they stated that? Damnation? I'm not sure if it did, did they? Oh, 
on a bit of a heavy work schedule this week, so I've not managed to catch up too much on that. How are we doing for the sky far? So yeah, that's alright. Flag's doing very well. When are you in uh, Epsilon, are you? Are you in the last one? Probably about the right time, isn't it? This time now? Yeah. It's to 20.45 here in the UK, so... Last word's about to come online. So I changed the special on these sky fires and it's made a huge difference. I put the new one that turned up in the FM. And uh, the extra damage protection, it was all obviously penetrative, but it's really made a difference. Nice overload, great timing. I like that. So when it comes to the drones, I mean, you can't outrange them, but so long as you can keep them just outside your own aura field, then that seems to work quite nice. I find. They're going to hit you anyway, or, or fire at you, sorry. So. so long as they don't get too close, it doesn't seem to really matter a huge great deal. Nothing up there, is there? No, there's not. Okay. Yeah, see the old guts pulled. Look, it's, it's it's doing fine. Let's let that thing race ahead and get out of our way. I can understand why they got rid of the 103. This is this is much better for uh, those that took this single avenue of going down this route with this hull. Phoenixes, I'd be interested to see what Ren has to say for himself. Hello mate, how you doing? Yeah, so like I said, um, yeah, um, Ren is having a good smash through the, uh, or he said he was going to have a smash through the 106 with uh, a set of Phoenixes, but I'm, I'm running a crew here at the moment and I'm just literally trying to see how many I can get, um, get out of the way. Before the crew goes, and it's a DOS crew, so you know, clearly it's a quite expensive crew. I've got an hour and four minutes left. But early, uh, early uh, preliminary sort of like return is from Ren that you can actually do the 106 very economically with some good driving. So yeah, I suppose you can see the charge, can't you, on these things? In fact, you can see the charge. Look, you can see the bars going down. In fact, even on the, uh, yeah, even those friggin' Revos, they've got charge, haven't they? Yeah, again, my charge is charged in the wrong place. <laughs> hey, Derpy, how you doing, mate? Right, we'll, we'll check at these. Just we, we um, take a good look at these, shall we? Let's uh, let's zoom in and have a little look, shall we? So here we go then. Yeah, you can see the charge bars are going down. You were quite right, sir. Uh, damnation. I didn't even clock that because I was all zoomed out. I didn't even register. But yeah, you can see they have got charge bars on them. Which they definitely wasn't in the hundreds last time. So visually, it's quite impressive, actually. Where are we? We're over there. Quite a big target, but actually reasonably quick. Under five minutes. 20 in the hour, that's okay. 20 in the hour for three and a half million each. Reasonable, reasonable. 
and I'll go and soak up some hundreds and then get the bonus later, so... That won't take too long. Go on, overload. For his fire pool, he's done anyway. Can we keep the overload? Let's have a look. Let's watch the overload if we can. Look at that, we like that. It's so quick you can hardly see it, I think. Can we keep it for this set as well? Yes, we can. Boom, boom, boom. Turrets as well, possibly. Let's, uh, let's travel down and see if we can get some other set as well. That'd be really nice, wouldn't it? Let's drop the flag back. Let the flag take the damage. That leaves us with a bit down here, doesn't it? We're still overloading, that's good. Stops now, though. There we go, I'll overload again. Just nice to let that flagship take the damage. This should be it. Let's zoom out and have a look. Yep. There we go, there's another one. Hello Grimace, how are you doing? Sorry, it's you there. I'm on two screens, so I'm not gonna have to focus that hard using these. So let's keep it on the counter this time. Let's just see how long it's roughly taking. So it's a 15 minute counter. Let's see if I can I haven't actually worked out the most optimal, optimum way of doing it yet. Being sort of like just crunching it. One overload straight away, so it'd be nice to kill these off with there. So I don't, unless somebody's thinking otherwise, I don't think I've lost out a huge amount. I don't seem to have lost out a huge amount by not changing the um, UAV to the new ones. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Hello, George. How you doing, mate? Doesn't seem to be too bad. Did I see the build on the Wendigo? I've heard it's horrendous, but then again, remember the original one was horrendous as well? 25 or something days, or something like that. We could go and have a look at some stuff, but um, 27 days, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. It was 25 days for the other one, or, or something like that. I mean, that's why so many people kept it in their base for so long, because they spent so long building the darn thing. They didn't want to get rid of it, even though it was really rubbish at come the end. You know, it doesn't, doesn't surprise me at all that it's 27 days. I mean, it's just we've we've gone away from those sort of build times. I'll take this set out. Can we set both sets at once, do you reckon? I think we should be able to. This is what Skyfires are all about. Well done, guys. Thank you. You just keep overloading. We like that. No, don't stop. <laughs> I 
So everything comes with charge these days. That luxury item that apparently we didn't have to have merely a couple of months ago. <laughs> really? I'd like to see you do this without. We'll nip him in the bottom. Yeah, this luxury thing called Charge Armor, which is yet again released for the next release. Okay. Is that two? Is that three? I've lost count. How many times have we done this time? Hey Wayne, have a good raid, mate. I'll speak to you later on. 28 million so far. Any more? Any more for any more? 100, 100, 100, 100. No, not technically 100, so let's pick another, shall we? Let's go. Well, we're in the 2 on 5s, aren't we? So let's see if 2 on 5 East is picked up again. 100, 100, 100, 100. 106. I'm not wasting my time again to there. They're really 2 on 4 rating. 100, 106, 106. Oh, that was a couple better. What's that hiding behind there? That's a 100. Hmm. Um, so, mate, to be honest, I'm, I've managed to do four. Yeah, I think I did four for six coin, I think, to be honest. So, it's three and a half each, isn't it? Something like that? I think it's three and a half, isn't it? Three, six, nine, twelve. 13, 14, something like that, yeah. Hello, Nick. Totally lost interest, mate, yeah. So it's about four minutes to target this way. Um, and, and to be honest, I just wanted to see what this was like, because you can do it on a mobile phone like this. Um, yeah, and I did a bench test for uh, 106 on full auto, and it was two and a half hours damage. But I suppose if you fit a Grease Monkey crew, you can get it down to a little bit less. But obviously, driving's the way they head, so. Are we getting lag here? I'm not sure if it's starting to lag, I'm not sure. Handy. Let's go and black some targets off, shall we? There's quite a bit of charge on them drones, isn't there? Right, come on, let's get down here. We're overloading, so we may as well go and trigger these. Use the overload. Let's drop number one back a little bit. Don't let it get too close, because obviously they have that fire field. Which is uh, pretty nasty. Yeah, so you can see we're starting to lag a little bit. It's starting to get that uh, that jumping effect. Or I can see that anyway myself. So. See you later, George. Mate. Very sneaky this time, you've got to go in a long way before you trigger these drones. That's, that's another thing as well. It was nothing like that last time. You were at least, you know, you at least had time to turn and get out of the way. Absolutely impossible this time. So that'll be quite difficult for uh, people with Phoenixes. We'll get this one done, I think. We'll, we'll have a go. We'll fix it, I think. So let's go close we go get this drone. Practically on top of the darn thing, but. I mean, yes, you can kite them, but look, they're still on you. And they've got charge, so... They're going to fire on you faster than you're going to fire on them. Initially.
So, what do you reckon to the new, um, some of these new turrets? What have we got? We've got the, uh, this epic mortar, the epic cat mortar looking thing, which looks like a bit of a beast. Limited to five, obviously, but, um, I can sort of see why. I think the best thing I like mostly is the new countermeasure turret. Well overdue, one of those, I have to say. Definitely be getting some of those. Is Nick still here as he fell asleep? I'm getting quite bored, George. <laughs> George is gone, sorry. Yeah. He was wondering, could I survive a whole... Um, a whole way uh, uh, crew, hour and a half of doing this. <laughs> I'm not totally stopping, but um, not exactly exciting, is it? Hey, at least put some music in the background for you. Funny, um, Grimace, funny? Is that funny haha -ha, or funny <laughs> something else? I don't know why I smile so much sometimes, I, I shouldn't. I don't know, life's too short, it worry too much. Are we stuck? Oh no. I think what we will do is we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at the damage quickly. Where are we? Oh, so close, isn't it? Okay, five. We'll do it. Uh, while we're doing that, I think we might refresh. I wonder if I can just get in base and come back out and see if that's helped. We'll have a little look. Still seems quite slow. That was a bit better. Okay, what have we got? How quick is he going to turn up? Not bad. 100 or 100. The 106 up there, sat on top of someone's base. Literally, sat on his base. Just while he's in a bubble, eh? Don't think we're very good hitting a base with a PvE. It is quite a long time for single targets. Four and a half, four to four and a half minutes, isn't it? I think. Um, but it is three and a half million points. But yeah, you're right. And, and a whole crew are actually in some previous raids. I've actually got a hundred and ten million points on one crew. I'm not going to do that here. Now clearly I'm not getting the bonuses, so when I come to smashing up the hundreds, I'm going to jump up an awful lot of points very, very quickly. So at least tomorrow when I do that, my morale will go up a bit. <laughs> so I'm only doing this one crew tonight, and then I'm see it. that's it, I'm not doing any more tonight. I'm not in the mid for it, so. Suddenly, what do you guys think of the raid video? Do you, um, you like the idea of this new sub? Fang tooth, isn't it? Fang tooth? I think it is. Yeah, that's right. Never surfaces unless you're in a calf raid, a calf field like. It's got its own special aura. 
new torpedo that's got stun effect on it. As many are saying, a mini, sort of mini uh, ghost crawler. But not a restricted blueprint either, so you can build as many as you like. Although, what a hell of a build time. Go away, you. <laughs> Certainly not. I'd like to see Ray. I'm going to see Ren's video later on. So it's interesting to see how he kites these. You're going to have to be a super driver with your Phoenixes to kite these darn things. Because you haven't got any extra range. It's the same. I know they're faster. They turn quicker. Much faster, in fact. But these uh, these things are quick. Look at that. Straight on you. Yeah, I'm going to quite look forward to the subs, I think. Um, I'm a sub driver myself. Um, I really enjoyed the Hellraid raid. I mean, I hate to say that because a lot of people hated it. And I think it cost kick some players. I genuinely do think they lost players when they introduced that. And they couldn't make up the mind up what type of damage they were going to do. And then when we had those um, rockets that kept jumping out the mother ships that were taking us out. And they couldn't make up the mind up what damage type it was going to be. That did them some damage, I think, as a company. Inconsistency. I hate that. company itself's got inconsistency then what the hell are we supposed to do oh I'm definitely lagging I've got to re reset I think in a minute That's okay. So we're going to refresh quickly, I think. We'll wait till these points come in, though. Plasma, the dreaded plasma damage. Gosh, yes, I remember that. Oh, my word. Did ever that cause a stink or what? was a stinker so that's 10 isn't it we've done 10 there it's 35 million which is what we're on so 10 set or 10 targets sorry i know i'm chatting as i'm doing it so i probably could do it a bit quicker but... hey captain mac how you doing corey how you doing mate I must admit, I think the first, um, looking at the raid target, and you know, they announced there was a preview stream and that sort of stuff, you know, for, for, to, to get the target time balance right. I was in that as well. Um, and I did find the target, the example target, more interesting. Um, definitely better than the Hellwraith. Um, the Hellwraith uh, preliminary targets, so. Far more balance and stacking was quite good and that sort of stuff. So I put I put my feedback in for them anyway. What, what I thought and that sort of stuff. And they had already made some adjustments within that preview. So um, I won't say what they were, but um, they did listen and they did uh, make some adjustments. So but I think it'd be an interesting sub. Um, there's a really interesting mechanic in it, um, which I like a lot. I think people want to understand how to use it will really enjoy it actually. My concern is um, they're going to build something into the game. Or we're going to have to build something into the game because everyone's basically got a ghost crawler <laughs> or a fleet of ghost crawlers. 
which will be people will be sniping ships everywhere. You know, although well, we have to be building something with cav, cav fields, won't you? Because uh, that'll be interesting. Why am I running away? See, there we go. So I'm used to driving phoenixes again. I don't need to run away. Just keep them on reasonable distance. They're going to be hitting me anyway, so. See how much longer is left on this uh, this crew actually. We'll do a couple afterwards, but to see if that's it's made a difference and if it's been worthwhile. Because I hope it has. Otherwise, I've just wasted a very good crew. <laughs> but it's been sitting in my base for oh, as long as I can remember. Must be two years since I've used a DOS crew. Be. See, look how close you've got to get to these things to trigger them. God. We're in overload, so come on. Bit too close there. We're just on the edge of that slide. We'll let him zoom forward. Thank you very much. And we'll the turrets. We're just stunned at the moment, so. Can we get these as well at the same time? No, not quite. Might overload again, you never know. Let's drive in that field. Oh, perfect. Look at that one. Sometimes it's better to take a little damage. Especially if you can gain back your uh, overload effect. Well, I find that anyway. Boom, boom, boom. Get some. It really is a lazy man's fleet, this, isn't it? <laughs> I'm turning into Liam. <laughs> Quite amusing myself here. Hey, bro. Haven't seen you for a while. XL, blimey. Hello, mate. How are you guys? Any more 106s around? Let's have a look. I can't see anything here, can you? No, definitely not. Let's, let's go hunting, shall we? Let's, uh, well, I'll be surprised if they let me 216. It's normally quite busy there, but we'll see. You never know. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, and 100. Didn't think so. Let's look at 215 East again. Let's see what's over here. Someone's smashing the 106s now over there, so I'm not going to look at that one. 215 West. Someone's in hundreds. Oh, I'm going to have to go a little bit further afield, I think. That's 214 down there. Oh, there's my brother's. Yeah. Look at some others. Haha, <laughs> look who it is, look, Robin. <laughs> 24 seconds away. Let's have a quick peek, shall we? While we're driving. There's Rue, look, she's like that. Why is TMS and TSM watching me? God, I've got pressure now. And you're on stream, Rue. Go on then, let's have a look. He says, burning my crew away.
Can I say I wouldn't have done that? <laughs> okay, my ship's supposed to be there. We all know what I want to just like. Gets done effect, nice. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't very clever of me. Mega ships can't hit 106s, by the way. <laughs> no pressure, room. Oh, I'll have to chat to you later on. So, what are you doing on my stream? Get off. <laughs> Not even sure what sector she's in at the moment. So, is everybody aware that you, obviously there's a little sneaky trick that you can do? You can um, let the uh, obviously the repair modifier for the gut spill is far less than what it is for the normal one. So, you can hang around in the end of the. If you want to do it cheaper, obviously, um, you can hang around to the end of the target, don't kill the full thing, and let the gut spill fill back up of health to 75%, which is the maximum it'll do. And then um, it'll take the health down on the gut spill, obviously. But because its repair modifier is um, better. Your overall fix time is reduced considerably. Um, no, not considerably, but it's reduced. You can generally save sort of like uh, you know on a half damage fleet, uh, um, one or two coins per hit, so or to repair. Sorry. So in the long run, it's uh, you know it's going to save you every hundred. It might save you twenty coin. As Red would say, pro tip. Or this one G, one of those, I don't know. Yeah, Pro, I understand. I'm a bit salty about the 106, but um, there are a couple of videos out already of, of people doing them with Phoenixes. Um, you know, we cracked the 103. I feel sorry for people with skies only in the 103s, but then we resorted to using subs, and, and then it was pointless. You know, not it wasn't pointless. We broke the mold, so as a community, we always do. They're always puzzles, these things, aren't they? So, oh, this is not a puzzle, this is just a lazy drive around, isn't it? This is like crash test dummies, really. It's not exactly a technical way of playing a raid, is it? It's doing the job efficiently, but it's not exactly very exciting, is it? Sitting in fire fields and lazily just driving around, letting things catch up with me so I can just let my ships overload. Hardly skillful, is it? Certainly glad I put that Gale 3 on that uh, flagship. few more yet, I think. Next one, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Robin's still in that 100, or she doing another one? Not sure. 41. Okay. So I need to do the math on this, work out what I've got, and then obviously I can work out how many hundreds I can do, and then obviously add the 100 points, which is what, 1.25 million, something like that, and then add the bonus points as well on top of that. And I'll know roughly where I am later on. So it's nine million. Every time I do a hundred, it should then go. What am I getting? Three and a half of these. So I should be getting another what? Five and a half on top of that each time. 
That'd be nice, that'll watch the points crack up pretty quick, wouldn't it? Okay, so Mike, have a have a good uh, raid week. Hope things go well. Just like the randomness of the music, by the way. <laughs> this is a. Uh... Whatever comes free on Google, with the Google's uh, YouTube uh, video sort of uh, editor, so it's free play. Let me ban you from in my own stream, bro. It is weird music, that's the whole idea. It's, it's just like, what's this rubbish? <laughs> it's so random. No, it's not rubbish, it's, it's just different, weird. I'm not surprised it's not copyrighted, put it that way. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to try and take it off in a hurry, are they? Good time to get overload. Oh, nice, nice, we like that. Let's go and kill this poxy thing. No, I haven't, mate. No, I haven't at all. So I'm just, just literally burning off this crew. Um, we can have a look because I'm going to have a pause for a while after this. Anyway, so we can go and grab the phoenixes when we come to the end of it, and then uh, Robin's still plugging away. Look, <laughs> that isn't the same target still, is it? Please, because I'm on my third one now. How dead this flagship it doesn't actually look. Ooh, do you reckon we can get rid of that? I don't know. We'll see. Be nice if we could. God, an overload now would be really nice. Oh, look at that timing. It's almost like it came from the gods. Indeed, let's go and trigger these ones then, shall we? Get some of thy. I do like the Skyfires, I must admit. Let's not talk about targets, but that's a ship to tell you. Skyfires are very nice. Nicely built. Oh my gut spills nearly dead. <laughs> So my plan was to auto these while actually my phoenixes do the hundreds. That was my plan. 
Um, and I may do that later. But while this crew's on, I just, I'll just crank a load of these up. Should be able to cut, yeah, I thought so, get some of those turrets done. Is that Robin peeking? I think it might be. Hello, young lady. Sneak that out. I think we're in different sectors, so we can't even chat. the difference. <laughs> Can I finish this, do you reckon? Sky 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1. Do you reckon I can finish Oh, I can, yeah, I'm sure I can finish this. There's no drones left, so. We've got an overload as well, so. Yeah, we're good. Without the gut spill though, it makes a huge difference. Like, you can't outrun these very fast either. But we're okay, we can go around it. Yeah, look at the burn effect. Huge. So what we'll do is kill off this thing and then we're done. We'll go fix. Somebody's on 900 mil. Now, I did hear, by the way, there was a problem with the targets. Uh, sorry, with the point score. That basically the bounty, for some reason, is, is adding on points onto the raid score on the on the um, scoreboard. Well, we can have a look. Should we test that? Um, hang on. So, what am I on? 49. Okay, let's just have a quick look. If it wants to come up, that it. So lifetime bounties out there, so um, um, it's not actually telling me a great deal for steel curtain. Let's have a look. Yeah, so that's correct. And somebody is on. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> uh, that's just. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, actually, if I did this and I'm getting over five million, I can see it actually. Yeah, I can see how it can happen. I mean, I'm started quite late, so. We've got any more 106s. There's one there. We're doing right. How are we doing for time? I've got 23 minutes left on this one here. So, so 23 minutes left. That's almost like what five targets, isn't it? And if I stop yabbering and actually get on with it. So 23 lists, five targets. What are we on then? Steel curtain. We're on 49. So yeah. Okay, 49, 59, 65, 65, then add another 5 and a half It doesn't surprise me, you know, actually. I could quite easily be well up. Yeah, if you're doing combination hits, you can quite easily do this. Well, I'm not exactly rushing, am I? But if you charged into everything, and didn't worry about taking huge amounts of damage, you be much quicker. I mean, I, I could probably do this in a, a minute. Unless you get overload. Just let everything come to you. It might be better just to let everything come to me and just let it crash out like that. I don't know. Especially on overload, look. Maybe I'm being a little too fussy.
Well, if I can do this in an hour and a half and get this many points, I could probably do the whole raid this evening. I'm not going to see it all evening. I'm going to do something else. It may just crash, it's better just to drive straight into all the things and just keep driving, I don't know. That's annoying. Come back here and die you. So that's three minutes. Basically four minutes there, four minutes of target, so. Um, well, the ones that fire the cheese balls, the only thing that those things seem to do is fire the cheese balls at you, which obviously is explosive damage, which when it hits you, kills a third of your flee, <laughs> or thereabouts. So uh, that's about it, as far as I can tell. Apart from that, it doesn't do a great deal. How are we doing? 100, 100, 100, 106, and 100 there. Well, that's not very impressive, is it? Hmm. I might have to drive to a random sector. Aren't we? So there's a one, there's two, there's three, there's four here, so that's good. Um, we'll have a look, mate, okay, we'll just, we'll jump across here, and we'll have, oh, it's there already, look. Just coming through now, we'll have a quick look at that repair time. I mean, it was, I think the first one I did was one hour and 12 minutes um, as a test. Are you coming or what? Here it is. Let's have a quick then, shall we? It is 55 minutes. So that was actually better. Um, quite decent, in fact. 17 minutes to go. Is that a DOS crew you're using? Yes, it is, Damnation. Sorry, I didn't see your comment up there. <laughs> I don't know what the rest of your sentence means, mate. Sorry. Maybe it is better just to leave them in there and just let them overload and smash the stuff out. Maybe it's less damage in the long run, I don't know. Certainly seemed less then, didn't it?
That's the sort of chaining we like. <laughs> Check this last slot. There's another one. Right, so how are we doing for time then? We are down to 14 minutes. We're doing okay. So the Guts Bedora is amazing, I have to say. It's very good. It does make a huge difference when those drones get really close to you. That explosive, uh, sorry, the um, fire field they put out it definitely seems to help. Huge amount. Overloading is going to kill these things, shall we? So is it as bad as they say? No, hey Kevin, how you doing mate? No, it's, uh, um, no, I don't think so. I'd like to see what Ren's, um, how Ren's getting on with his phoenixes in this one, I have to say. And I'll have a chat to him after I've finished here, but uh, for me I'm managing to do four to five targets before I have to fix the fleet, so that's quite reasonable. like 17 million or something like that for seven seven eight coins which is quite decent and obviously i'm then going to switch for i mean i'm lucky i've got phoenixes as well and then switch fire across to hitting the hundreds later on and uh, which is basically like getting five and a half million points for each hundred then ah it's rum of course it is this is you on your normal one mate sorry buddy I'm so used to using the other. Rob, I don't think it is, mate. Hi. 
do you know what? They've actually stuck to the word. Um, you know, it was wrong, I think, to do that 103 with the uh, with the Rudolph in it. You know, when the initial statement was, you know, Skyfires can auto the S target. Well, it freaking couldn't. So had something had to happen. Have we penalised Phoenix players? Ren can answer that question for us. I'm sure other people will as well. I think the points in balance is a little naughty. I think three and a half million for this. I think is what is it? One, one, one point two five or something like that for the hundred. I know we're well familiar with the hundred, but even so. Balance is a little bit too much, I think. Two and a half, two, maybe, something like that. I think people would be less salty. Although, saying that, this is maybe 2.75, 1.7, I don't know, whatever. Come on then, let's go. Times. Time's going on. So 60 million just using this one crew and just one fleet. Nine minutes to go. Got two more targets here, isn't there? So we should better get both these targets done before this crew runs out. Let's see how the uh, gut spill's doing. Is it going to survive both the targets? Probably just about. I'm sure the first set is uh, not as powerful, or it doesn't have as much protection. I mean, that first set that comes from down here, it seems to die much quicker than the others. Or am I just really bad at observing things? Right, here we go, one overload, so let's use it to our advantage. Good, well, we're nearly there for this uh, for this run through. We look at surprises and bits and bobs in a minute, and we'll have a look at uh, the prize table, which I haven't had a look at. So it's the first time that we've actually, uh, for three months, had a table that's not locked, which is nice. I hate locked tables. I really wish you just pick what you want, get the prizes based on just, just based on the points you've achieved, not have to go and get X, Y, and Z first. Big bugbear of mine. Hate it. Yeah, okay. Grimace, thanks for popping in, mate. That's, uh, you've hung around for some time, mate. Get back to your raid. <laughs> Have a good one, mate. Thanks for chewing the fat as well. things here. Oh, we haven't seen that aura come up for a while. There's definitely a bit of a visual thing going on here. Obviously that's the big aura of the uh, gut spell effect. 
Gotcha. One more, we reckon. How are we doing? Five minutes, we'll definitely get this one last one in. It's over here, I think it is. Yeah, it is. I think I'll go and dock and then let these uh, chill out in slow time. on then and just hit another couple of maybe a couple of hours and then auto fix well, I managed to get an hour and a half for just driving so one an hour three and a half million points it's 60 million just well technically if you stayed up I must have because the aura is still sitting there, isn't it? Let's try and save some help on it. <laughs> See if we can keep the flagship alive to the end. Or at least till we get rid of the drones. Not so important after that. It's uh, it's died. Not good. It be interesting. We still have the overload, so it's not, uh, not in the world. But it'd be interesting to see if I can. Uh, Survive these drones without the gut spill. Overload would help, I have to say. Which I've got, got, so that's good. Make it now, that's good news. Ships remaining, that's all we've got. But we'll finish this target, that's okay. We'll just go and fix it in slow time. And there we go. That's it. I think we're about done. We're practically out of time anyway, I think. minute 30. I'm not going to fix it. Just for that. So while it's hopping in, let's have a quick look at some... Uh, just confirm some bits and bobs. 
So prize list, um, clearly there's the, the, the Fangtooth. Um, let's, have a look, let's see what it says for itself. 60 million. Well, actually I can redeem that if I wanted to. So, okay. Uh, recommended obviously the uh, the new charge <laughs> times 10 very expensive uh, the torps tubes amazing special gone up from 50% torpedo damage to 70% torpedo damage so really good component um, lightweight weapon weights only 10% bear in mind these are very heavy torpedoes going across to these torps here so just be concerned with that and think about how many you're going to put on do you want to uh, put on or do you want to put torpedoes on um, but there's 450 for each one there, so just bear that in mind. But they have got a hell of a lot of damage, so uh, yeah, 1750 per torpedo. Hey, Rum, still three and a half hours. You're trying to catch me out, mate. You keep changing. <laughs> so, yeah, and, and uh, well, it's nice because obviously this special fits nicely, and 70%, as we said, and this one's now. Obviously, a critical chance of 20% and a splash. Splash isn't something important, obviously, on this because we've noticed that this torpedo then doesn't affect splash. But if you haven't already got this one here and you've got hell racing, it's still a good special to have. But projectile speed goes up, obviously, critical chance of hit goes up, uh, and critical damage goes up as well. So, critical damage uh, is a nice thing to have. Um, yeah, alright then. Agility system is not limited, so it's just a while off, go and grab it, and away you go. Um, I'm R15, you can see why. Blueprint is ranked at R15, which gives you then obviously a good amount of uh, bonus uh, evade there, 40% or 41% really, to be honest. So quite decent. Um, yeah, obviously Charge X, we all know that Charge X, the next raid format, is obviously uh, going to always, with that type of target, is uh, concussive and uh, explosive. So a reasonable spread. 125, so nice and light and that sort of stuff, and obviously fixing this is free, isn't it? Um, so then, someone said this uh, new Cannibal Wendigo is a 20, 27 day build or something like that. Um, and obviously, Brennan's unstoppable sloth, which I probably don't think I'm going to bother with, to be honest. I think I'm going to go down the, the turrets line and do some base defense and let people come and hit me and see if I can stop them, which I quite like doing. That's the way I like playing the game. I've done many years of base hitting, so I like doing base defense now. And if you don't sort it out, you get a day and a bit to go and fix it again, because obviously you get to sit, in, sit in your bubble and you can play around with things and that sort of stuff. So, But yeah, so what do they recommend for this one then? Torpid mortar. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, powerful mortar, isn't it? Good splash and that sort of stuff, or reasonable splash. Hell of a damage. Uh, reasonable reload time. Yeah, that's been out for a while. That explosive, isn't it? So there's the old six million point uh, sloth with the upgrade speed and that sort of stuff. I think comet speed went from eight to fifteen or something. Like that. And uh, yeah, precision napalm detonators. I've not personally used that one myself. But, but explosive damage is good. But it's just the splash is, is quite decent. But um, anyway, it is what it is. Right. That's most of it, to be honest. As, as, as you can see, there's, there's tons of assault stuff in here. Um, yeah, not bothered with that sort of stuff. I my fingers burn once too many. I did hear though that if anybody's doing the uh, the KDs, is possible to do it uh, free. The one of six, by the way, damage free. But then you have to invest an awful lot to go and get it. So. It's not to say damage free, but well, it's damage free, but I wouldn't say it's cost free because you must have coined it to get this far. So. Hmm. I think the modern say price to be honest, but there we go. Not interesting. Yeah, it's own, so it's what's done to done to be honest. Um, you can click four, and obviously that there is an expensive combination. Um, but yeah. What else we got? Cyber's Pride, nice. There's some bits and bobs if you really want some more Gamma Bimov shards. Skirmish, what's in here then? 
Phantom flag. Never got round to buying that. Never built it in the end. Hmm. Might consider that. Clear that there's going to be a flagship coming out now with the hell rates, but sorry, not with the hell rates. With the fan fancy felt probably be next raid, or in some godforsaken TLC in between. Generalist, nothing. Okay. What else do we get then? Yeah, no change in on the delirium torp. All the torps tubes. This is the one I want. I think this is going to be a cracking little uh, addition to your base. A couple of these on the outside, one on each portal maybe, and then a couple in the middle. I think they'd be great fun. <laughs> Hello, Henry. How you doing, mate? <laughs> Is this song going to give me a seizure? Uh, you never cease to amaze me. Uh, hey, good show last night, mate. Well done. It was really good. Enjoyed it. I've got a few extra details and a few extra minutes out of them. It's, uh, it's always a good bonus. I like it. Anti-Rocketeer level 4. That hasn't been out for some time, so that's nice to see. This 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 crazy-ass epic cat water. It is 5 still, isn't it? Or is it just redeem? It's limited, isn't it, if I remember rightly? I'm pretty sure it is. As is this one here. I think they're limited to five each of these if I remember right. What else have we got? I'm not redeeming anything at the moment. So they up the um, the tokens, which is nice. So we've got more tokens, I think one more ship and one more uh, one day ship and I think half day ships from that. So we've got we've got tokens. So we'll look see if we can find it now. What have we got then? Uh, one day ship build token three, which is nice. And structure builds yeah, ten. As I said uh, on, on the page earlier on, just be cautious with the structure builds because you can only stack five for two days. So if you're going to stack a sixth one, you're going to lose it. So you're going to have to utilize uh, five of them if you're going to go for the full ten. So there is a plethora of bits and bobs in there. Nice luxury pyre, I like that. Cat mortar, many people We're still need that one. A lot of these things are retrofitable as well, which is nice. Um, that's the only gale. It's a shame Trident didn't come in. I know they said that they'll, they'll deliver Trident maybe next month in, in another area of the game. All I can guarantee is it won't come free. Because <laughs> it never does. Something you want. Never comes free, is it? Anyway. Let's go and dump these off. And uh, we'll fix them in slow time. And uh, I'm going to go and uh, chill out for five minutes. So uh, thanks for those that tuned in. Okay, and um, for those that are watching this after, it's, uh, it's, it's recorded uh, on my uh, stream page. Then, um, hope it's been helpful. And uh, if the raid's over for you, I hope it was okay. If you're still in the middle of it, then... Um, why have you watched this long of this? <laughs> you should be out raiding yourselves. So, time to say goodbye, and um, hopefully we'll speak to you guys on the uh, the weekend show, which will, uh, I'm sure, have some interesting comments from everybody as per normal. Take care. Cheers.